All right, so I just want to do a little collection update here quick um, while I'm doing the editing for my next uh, movie review. Um, just a few things I wanted to show off that we haven't really seen on the channel yet, haven't really talked about. Uh, so, yeah, it's not going to be too much. Go be some cool stuff, just not a whole hell of a lot. So we're going to start off with the, uh, the figures I've gotten recently. Uh, I guess we'll go all the way back to a couple of months ago. Um, so many of you know that the movie Monster Series has gotten reissued. Um, and this was one figure that I've been looking at for a while. Just never, never was able to get an original one. And finally found it, uh, ironically enough, at FYE. They had it in stock and I was like, okay, you know, now is probably the time to buy it. That's the uh, Movie Monster Series Kiryu. Now, this is the Tokyo SOS Heavy Arms version. Um, it was only like $20, $25 at FYE, I think, which not a bad price considering what you pay online. But, yeah, so we got that. Uh, same day that I bought that, I also picked up... Now, these have been out of production for a little while, and I realized this was the only Godzilla figure that I hadn't gotten out of the line, kind of. Um, so... A couple of years ago, we came out with those little tiny Bandai half uh, Gasapon figures, half high-grade figures. So I picked up the Godzilla Final Wars. Um, I had already had the Godzilla 1990s, and the Kiryu just wanted to get this guy, and he was a reasonable price, so figured, what the hell. Um, then jumping forward a little bit more, this was right around the beginning of the new year. Um, I've been talking about getting into buying these for a little while yet and just haven't really found a figure that I wanted. So finally found it at a store and I can safely say that I am now the owner of Monster Arts figure. Uh, this is obviously the Monster Arts Kiryu Goji who goes very well, ironically, with um, the Bandai Movie Monster Series Kiryu. Mine does have the, the derp defect. Um, we'll talk about that when I get the review done for it. But yeah, uh, he was reasonably priced compared to what I was seeing online. So I figured, you know, grab him. And uh, yeah, I can definitely see the, like why some people stand by monster arts. But at the same time too, I can also see where a lot of their issues lie as far as their quality control goes. So yeah. And last but not least for the figures, um, so finally put an order in on the Godzilla store and, you know, I was late to the game on a lot of them. Um, there is still one that I have my eyes on, on the website, but they're, they get some really cool stuff in there. I highly suggest you check it out. If there's anything Godzilla related that you want, they have the special effects books, um, records, book, um, we already said the books. Um, they also have like, obviously figures, t-shirts, but the figure that I got was another one that I had seen at FYE, and I kind of passed him up, and I'm glad I did because I got him at a better price off of the Godzilla store, and that is the new Godzilla 2000. Um, same sculpt as the old Memorial Box Godzilla 2000. The only difference is much smaller, and I think a little bit more green. But, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised how this guy turned out. Um, yeah, definitely expect a review on him coming up in the near future. So yeah, that, that about does it for the figures. Um, take a short break and then we'll come back and do the movies that I've picked up over the last year and a half, roughly. So see you guys in the next portion. All right, so we're back for the movie section. Um, not, a lot, not a whole lot of movies, um, but I definitely think what I have in store for the last two, you guys are going to enjoy. So we're going to start back... Um, actually, we're going to jump to summer of, spring and summer of last year. Um, Amazon was running their Aero sale, and I had already had one of their box sets, uh, which relates to Tokusatsu, um, but I hadn't had the other, and I figured now was a good time to pick it up. So, the set that I got was obviously the Showa Gamera set. Um, that's, that was kind of what gave me the idea to do the Gamera series reviews, besides the, the anime coming out, um, but this was kind of like what got me to actually go back and watch the Showa series, because I'm not going to lie, for the longest time, I kind of didn't care for the Showa Gamera series. There were certain, like I liked certain movies like uh, Giant Monster and Barugon, but a lot of them I didn't really care for. So 
gave me a chance to go back, take a fresh approach before I went and did the uh, series, and yeah, uh, looks phenomenal, but I definitely will do a review for this coming up sometime soon. So there's that one. Um, yeah, so then we have that. We'll just set it down. Um, so going back actually to summer of 22, uh, because these both go in a pair together, um, the Mahoning Drive-In Theater is close to where I live. Um, and they, you guys have already seen the video that I did on uh, Godzilla Palooza returning to that. Um, but they also do Schlockerama. And Schlockerama is basically anything goes as far as like cheesy classic sci-fi slash horror movies. Or what may be deemed cheesy by today's standards. So the year that I went to see it, um, the Saturday night showing was Return of God well, Godzilla 1985, the actual English dub of 1985. Um, Monster of the Challenge the World and It Came From Beneath the Sea. And what Mahoning does is they run raffles. So I put in for this huge raffle that came with uh, Godzilla DVD, which I had already owned. Um, but it came with a couple of Blu-rays, a couple of books, a couple of magazines. And I just so happened to win it. So the two discs that I got were, first up, Monster of the Challenge of the World, the uh, final feature from that night. Very cheesy, very, um, by today's standards, kind of lame, but really good movie. Um, definitely check it out if you get the chance. Kind of a fun little movie to watch, especially like around Halloween. Really works for that as well. So yeah, uh, next one is the double feature of It Came From Beneath the Sea and 20 Million Miles to Earth. This was, I think, why I put a fair amount of money into it. Besides the books that were there on like Godzilla and all these sci-fi characters, but I always loved It Came From Beneath the Sea ever since I was a little kid. So having both of these on Blu-ray is great. I have not gotten the chance to sit down and watch this yet, but definitely, definitely thinking of doing a review on couple of these Ray Harryhausen movies like from the 50s um and just a couple of like the 50s sci-fi movies coming up soon as well so yeah look forward to that and the last part of it um now these I had to save these for last even though I got them at two separate times because they go hand in hand with each other um I've had I have several copies of these movies but going to see them in theaters got me to get off my ass and semi upgrade if we want to call it that um or maybe just rebuy them we'll put it that way so first up Godzilla Tokyo SOS I actually bought this after I went to see against Mecha Godzilla but this is the Toho Blu-ray from Japan um found it on Amazon it was actually fairly reasonably priced I think it was like 35 like 30 35 dollars for it which, trying to get one of those over here off of eBay, forget it. You're going to pay out the ass for it. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, you get the, the just the Blu-ray disc. Nothing super fancy about it, but I do like the disc art. Um, especially since, like, when you think about it, our disc art over here for a lot of movies kind of sucks. Warner Brothers, looking at you. Yeah, they, they do not have the best disc art. So, seeing this, really neat. Um... I, yeah, like I said, I think it was like 30 bucks. but the nice thing is it's in Japanese without English subtitles, but there isn't any title overlay of the English text like there is on all the American releases for these movies. The Blu-rays, the DVDs, no, you don't have it. It's literally just the Japanese text. Kind of nice to watch it that way. And the amount of special features you get with it is ridiculous. Um, I didn't realize that there was actually an additional like 10, 15 minutes to the making of documentary for this movie, so... Yeah, thinking about doing a review for these coming up sometime soon. Um, but, yeah. And I have Tokyo SOS. Knowing that I love the Kiryu Saga, of course I have to have Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. Um, same thing. Really nice presentation and everything. Um, no overlay on the disc as far as, like, disc art goes. Or, uh, no overlay on the title, I mean. Uh, disc art is the final showdown in Shinagawa. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, really, really nice. Really uh, inexpensive as well compared to buying them off of a third-party seller on eBay. So, yeah, that ends it for the video or for, like, the movie section of it. 
we'll be back with miscellaneous items that I've purchased. So stay tuned. All right, now for the last part. This is all the miscellaneous stuff that I've purchased in recent times. Um, I guess we'll start off with the only singular item that I have left, really, um, of its own accord from the Godzilla store, which is a little shirt that I got. Um, the thing with Godzilla store is all their shirts are limited edition. So it has the Godzilla footprint with the uh, Japanese kanji on it, and, or uh, katano. I can't remember exactly which, which it is. But the same thing on the back. So really cool. Also part of my first order from the Godzilla store. First of many, I think. But yeah. So now we move into the other end of it, which is records. Um, you guys have already seen one of them on the channel. Um, as far as the others go that haven't been... Uh, shown off yet so we'll just kind of go through them all as like kind of a an update slash recap so the first one that i got was actually from uh death waltz and mondo records and that was the one that you guys have seen godzilla against mechagodzilla obviously come on now it's kiryu saga you guys know i love this this portion of the millennium franchise and just the, the franchise in whole um, so when they announced this, this was like an immediate pre-order. And I actually did forget that I had pre-ordered this when it arrived. Because all of a sudden I saw that I had a package from Mondo and couldn't remember what exactly what it was until I opened it. And it was the, uh, the vinyl for this. Love the soundtrack and it sounds absolutely fantastic on vinyl. Um, expect a review for this sometime in the near future as well. So then we move forward to, oh, I think it must have been late last year, like maybe end of summer. Um, I picked up uh, at a record store, I picked up another soundtrack, another Toho soundtrack, this time we're coming from the Showa series, and it's from Waxwork Records, actually. It's not the giant $300 Godzilla Showa series final box set. I wish I had gotten that. But this did just as well because it is another one of my favorite Toho, Showa Toho monster movies, and that is War the Gargantuas. Um, again, fantastic job by Black's work. Love the uh, the fold-out. Um, but I'll, I'll show all this off in a review. Uh, I just, I was actually looking for some of the Heisei soundtracks that Mondo had done, and came across this and was immediately blown away by it, so I knew I had to grab it. So, yeah. And from here on out, the soundtracks pretty much all are the Heisei series soundtracks. So, first one out of the gate that I purchased was, um, I just happened to find it and figured I better get it now while I can because I know that these things are going to go out of print. And that was the Godzilla vs. Destroy a soundtrack. Um... Out of the out of the entire um, the entire yeah, there is a little gimmick to it. Out of the entire Heisei series, this has to be one of my favorite soundtracks, and its gimmick is the Roaring Destroyer. Yeah, I um, actually never had that happen before, so that was a not a planned thing right there. We'll just leave that off for now. Um, next up. Also coming from Mondo, uh, another one of my favorites out of the Heisei series, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Um, that, obviously, that was what I paid for it. Uh, this is the Eco Vinyl Repress, not the original issue of it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try to get all the, the Godzilla soundtracks that Mondo was offering before they become pretty much impossible to find. So yeah. And last but not least, the final piece from my Godzilla store order, the one record that I passed up a couple of times, and finally the store that had it, which was also where I bought Destroya, um, they had sold the copy of this, and kind of kicked myself in the ass over not grabbing it beforehand. But I saw it on the Godzilla store website and immediately knew I just had to grab this. So it was... Return of Godzilla, also from Mondo. So, yeah. Um, so that's three three Heisei soundtracks, one Millennium soundtrack, one Showa soundtrack. 
Um, definitely want to get some more. I definitely want to get Tokyo SOS so I have the, the Kiryu Saga soundtracks, especially since I love the Kiri, uh, Tokyo SOS soundtrack just a tad bit more than against Mechagodzilla. But they have Megaguirus out now. They have 2000. Uh, Space Godzilla's out. And we've already got um, King Ghidorah, Mothra. The only one that we're missing yet is Biollante and Final Wars, which I'm not sure if we're going to get Final Wars yet or not. However, we also have some non-Godzilla Toho movies that they have the soundtracks out for, Rodan, Space Amoeba. So, yeah, if you get the chance, if you collect vinyl or if you have a record player or something, definitely look into these. Definitely uh, pick them up. Sound quality is great, and so are the, 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 the production behind it is utterly phenomenal. And these aren't even like the first Mondo releases I've ever had. I actually had a couple from them prior. So Mondo always does a good job. Waxwork always does. But yeah, definitely check it out. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys uh, for the next review.